नमस्ते वेलकम टू योगा विथ अश्विनी लेट सिट अप नाइस एंड टॉल आई इज क्लोज प्लीज स्पाइन इरेक्ट शोल्डर्स रिलैक्स and just concentrate on your breathing when you are breathing in you feel re-energized and when you breathe out you feel relaxed and happy let's take five such deep breaths every time when you breathe in just tell your mind you are feeling recharged re-energized and when you breathe out tell your mind you are relaxed and happy just remember recharge re-energize and relax and happy just begin deep breath in Hold your breath for a few seconds and tell your body and mind feeling re-energized, recharged and slowly deep breath out. You can breathe out to your nose or to your mouth and just tell your mind you are happy and relaxed. Always breathe in through your nose and breathe out could be through the nose or through your mouth. Next deep breath in. Feel recharged and slowly breathe out. Feel happy and peaceful. Next deep breath in. Hold your breath and breathe out. Two more breaths. Breathe in. Hold and breathe out to your mouth with loud ha. Ah. Breathe in. Hold your breath and breathe out. Ah. Great. Slowly, you may open your eyes and just start shaking your arm. Just shake, 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 shake. Shake it in front of you. Shake your arms to your right. Shake it towards your left. Shake it really hard. Feel all the stress going out of your arms. Shake it up. Shake, 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 shake. Shake it down. And slowly, you'll feel it in your palm. Can you really shake them well? A nice workout for your arms. Sit up nice and tall. And let's hands on your knees or on your thighs slowly bend your neck towards your right so right ear going close to your right shoulder and keep it there make sure your spine is straight take a deep breath in and breathe out Slowly bring your neck to the center and bend your neck towards the other side. And take a deep breath here in and breathe out. Slowly bring your neck to the center. And bend your neck all the way back. These exercises may look very simple, but these are very good for your exercise for your thyroid gland to keep it in 
कुछ क्लोज योर माउथ मेक श्योर योर अपर जॉ एंड लोअर जॉ इज टू इच अदर एंड फील द स्ट्रेच इन ऑन द फ्रंट साइड ऑफ योर नेक Stay there. Take a deep breath in. Deep breath out. Bring your neck to the center, and slowly bend your neck forward as much as possible. Again, keep. both of upper lips and lower lips touching each other upper jaw stay there take normal breath here breathe in and out okay slowly bring your neck to the center and by keeping your arms on your thighs slowly turn your neck all the way to the right or to the left just the neck not the shoulder that's why just hold on to your knees so your shoulders won't move with your neck it's a tendency so just the neck try to keep turn your neck either to the right or to the left as far as possible and when you have turned it all the way to the right or left just try to lift your chin up so Feel the stretch. Try to close your mouth. Slowly bring your chin down, and bring your neck to the center. Now let's turn your neck to the other side. Again, hold your palms on your knees so you won't move your shoulders. and now lift your chin up and take a normal breath here breathe in and out slowly bring your chin down and look, bring your neck back to the center <clears throat> this is a very good exercise for your thyroid gland you can repeat it few times if you have any if you have to really work it out now let's do the neck rotation for that bend your neck all the way back there are different ways you can do it but bend your neck all the way back and start rotating your neck very slowly so take it towards your left or right and just complete the rotation but make sure you go in all the direction no rush make sure it's more important to go in all the direction few round it's just in the same direction this is all to release the tension in your neck one more repetition of neck rotation in the same direction once you complete bring it back to the center again bend your neck all the way back and start going in the other direction so if you are going clockwise now you go counter clockwise If you are going counterclockwise, go in the clockwise direction. Only important thing is you have to go in all the direction. At one direction, you may feel that oh wow, it feels good. So you can stay there a little bit longer. Check with your own body and mind. This is all to reduce the stress and tension. Slowly repeat. And once you complete this round, 
Bring your neck back to the center. Great. Let's do the eye exercises. So if you have closed your eyes, please open them. <clears throat> now we are going to again, keep your hands on your knees so you won't move your shoulders. And now with your eyes, just look all the way to the right. Then all the way to your left. And slowly repeat. Look to the right. Look to your left. Right, left, two more repetition, very slowly with your own pace. Look to the right and look to your left, great. Now close your eyes, slowly open them. We are going to look all the way up to the ceiling and then to the floor. Again, try not to move your neck. It's very obvious, but just try to just move your eyes. Open your eyes, look it up and down, up and down, up, down, up, down. One more, up and down. Let's close your eyes. And really tightly close them, squeeze them, squeeze them tight, squeeze, 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 and open it wide. As if you are looking at somebody with a lot of anger. Open them. Or maybe if you are like, wow, moment. Open, open, open them wide. Keep them open. Now close it, close it tight. Close. And open. Open them wide. Same thing, let's repeat with your own speed. Close it, close, close, close. And open. Close. Open. Close. And open. Great, close your eyes. Let's stretch your right hand in the front, thumbs up, open your eyes. And now we are going to make a nice circle with right arm and you are going to follow tip of your thumb with your eyes. Try not to move your neck. If it happens, that's okay, but try to just do it with your eyes. Just follow tip of your thumb with your eyes. I know you can do it. Just do a nice thick circle with that right arm. Or if you're lefty, you can do it with left arm, that's fine. But just see tip of your thumb and follow it with your eyes. Just try as much as possible. Few repetitions. Do it slowly, don't just move it. You might feel dizzy. Do it very slowly. One more repetition. And slowly complete, bring it to the center. Bring that hand down. Now let's stretch the left arm. Again, thumbs up. And now if you are going in the clockwise, now go the counterclockwise and follow the tip of your thumb. Just getting both hands exercise, that's all. You can still use the same arm, no problem. But just start going in the other direction. And just try to follow tip of your thumb. With your eyes. Very slowly. Sometimes there may be water in your eyes, that's okay. Because your eyes are getting nice exercise. That's very important. Just follow tip of your thumb with your eyes. One more repetition. Just 
slowly complete the round you are on and bring it to the center, bring your hands down. Okay, let's stretch both hands to the front, thumbs up. And this time you don't have to follow with your eyes, but you are just going to make a nice big arm circles. Make sure you go, now this time you go back because you're not following with your eyes. So just go in the front, go back. Make sure the big arm circles. And if you need to, you can just sit up against the wall if you need to. And you can stretch your legs if you like. One more repetition. As long as your spine is straight, it's fine. Let's bring it to the front and then go in the other direction. <clears throat> and keep your arms straight. Do not like bend it. Keep it straight wherever, like on the side, front, back. Because you have to feel this feels more in upper arms. Few more repetitions. And slowly complete. Bring both hands down. Right. Let's do the side twist position for that. Stretch your right hand up. Stretch all the way. Stretch a little more. Feel a little more stretch on the right side. That's fine. As if you're trying to touch the ceiling. Now put your right palm on your left knee. Left hand, take it behind your back. At this point, make sure your spine is straight and slowly look all the way towards your left. Go a little more to looking towards your left, if possible. Great. Now breathe in here, breathe in. And breathe out. Great. Slowly and easily, come back to the center and bring both hands down. Let's lift your left arm up a little more, a little more stretch, stretch, stretch. Great. Put it on your right knee. Right hand goes behind your back, spine straight. Even if you are sitting up against the wall, it's fine. Look all the way towards your right, over your right shoulder. Go a little further if possible. Now take a long breath in. Breathe out. Slowly and easily. Come back to the center and bring both hands down. Now we are going to do it a little bit faster. So in that case, just stretch your arms a little bit to the side. Now, right hand on the left knee, look to the left, bring it to the front, then left hand on the right knee and look to the right. Like this, and then right hand on the left knee, bring it to the front, left hand on the right knee. Two few more repetitions, nice side twist. When you go on that side, you're going to pause there for a few seconds and come back and then to the other side. One more repetition. To the left and then to the right. Great. Let's stretch both legs. For the mermaid pose, fold one leg in the front, fold other leg in the back, stretch both hands. And now whichever leg is folded in the front, put that hand down on the mat and go down as much as possible. If you go here or you can go all the way. And then the other hand, stretch it to that side. And just breathe in and out. 
slowly start coming up. And on the other side, hold the ankle and stretch the other hand. And breathe in and breathe out. Slowly come up. Let's stretch both legs and change the position. The leg which was folded in the front, fold in the back. Whichever leg is folded in the front, put that hand on that side. Go down as much as possible and stretch the other hand. You can be either up to here or go all the way. And breathe, breathe in, breathe out. And slowly and easily come up. Let's hold the ankle with the other leg. And let's, let's bend on that side as much as you can. You can go a little more, feel the stretch. Now I'm bending towards my left. I'm feeling nice stretch on my right side. Breathe in. Breathe out. And slowly come back to the center and stretch both legs. Let's do hands to toe pose sitting. Stretch both hands up, stretch, stretch, stretch a little more. And slowly bend forward. Go forward as much as possible. And wherever you reach, if you can reach only up to your knees or your calf muscles, wherever you reach, just put your hands on your leg and just bend down. Take normal breath here, breathe in. Breathe out. And slowly start coming up. Stretch your hands up and bring both hands down. Great. Whenever you bend forward, you always have to bend back. So put both hands behind your back. Keep your legs stretched and slowly bend back as much as possible. <coughs> Go back, go back, go back. And wherever you reach, just stay there. When you reach the final position, breathe in and breathe out. Slowly and easily. <coughs> Come back to the center and bring both hands in the front. Let's fold one leg in the front and other leg you can stretch it a little bit to the side. Let's stretch both hands up. Now my left leg is stretched. So I'm going to look towards my left. If your right leg is stretched, you look towards your right. Both palms together. And I'm going bending towards my left leg. How much ever I can do it. Wherever I reach, I stay there. Again, take a normal breath here. Breathe in and out. And slowly and easily come up. Bring both hands down. Put it behind your back. Keep that left, whichever leg is stretched, keep that leg stretched, other leg is folded and bend back. <clears throat> nice stretch to your neck, your face, your chest. Stay there, breathe in and breathe out. Slowly come to the center. And now let's change. Now my right leg was folded, so I'm stretching my right leg, folding the left leg. Stretch hands up and look to 
towards my right and bending towards the right leg. And I can go as far as possible, wherever I reach. Just take a breath in and breathe out. Slowly come up, bring both hands down, put them behind your back and bend back and breathe. In and breathe out. Slowly and easily come up and stretch both legs. We'll do the butterfly pose for that fold both legs, bottom of your feet touching each other. You can bring your legs as close or, or bring your feet as close to your body as possible. Hold your toes, make sure your spine is straight and now Fold your legs up and down like butterfly wings. You should feel it in your inner thighs. It really opens up your hips. There is any tension. Few more repetitions. And slowly complete. That's great. No, just. Keep them like this, but stretch your feet a little bit further away. So with your legs, you're making a diamond shape. Now put both hands on your feet and try to squeeze your back in. You're not rounding up your back, but squeezing your back in and lifting your chin up. So slowly start bending forward, but keeping your like, Back should be either flat or squeezed in. So look up, feel here also you'll feel the stretch in your inner thighs. Just go further down as much as possible. Hold the feet, feel the stretch in your back and your inner thighs. Look up, look up. Great. Slowly come up. Again, hands behind your back and bend back. Slowly come up. Now stretch both legs. We are going to try to do the reverse plank and just do it only if you think it's you want to try. Otherwise, just keep your hands a little bit behind your back and spread on the side. Bend back like this. And if you want to do the reverse plank, Slowly lift your button and do the reverse plank. Again, if you want to try. Otherwise, just keep your buttocks on the floor. And slowly bring it to the center. And slowly sit up straight. Now stretch both hands to the front, thumbs up. And let's row the boat. Go forward and back. Ah. Drawing your boat. Make sure you go all the way forward, all the way back as much as possible. Just check with your back. How you feel? If, it, if anything hurts, try not to bend too much forward or back. If nothing hurts, just go for it. Nice workout for entire body, even your stomach, legs, arms, neck, everything is working. Keep going. One more repetition. Great. Now let's go in the other direction. Go forward and reverse. Ah. 
ongoing. If you like to go a little bit faster, please do so. If you want to just reduce the speed, that's fine. Just make sure your entire body is working out in here. Oh. And one more repetition. Oh. And stay there. That's great. Put hands on your knees and just shake your leg. Shake, 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 shake. Shake more. And slowly complete, come back to the center. Just try to relax. Great. Now we are going to do bow and arrow position. Stretch your hands to the front. Get up straight. All this you can do sitting up against the wall as long as your spine is straight. Thumbs up. Now we are going to bring your right hand close to your body and left foot. Stay there, hold the position. Try to keep your back straight as much as possible. We have natural tendency just to go back, but try to keep it straight. Now stretch. Now bring the left hand close to your body and right foot. You should feel it in your thighs. Now outer thighs, they are feeling it. You're burning the calories. You're really working it out. And let's repeat with your own pace. So right hand and left foot and try to keep your back straight, as straight as possible. Now left hand and right foot. And repeat few times. Oh. You can just breathe out through your mouth. One more repetition. Thighs are working out. And great. Slowly relax. Great. Let's sit in the easy sitting pose, which is called Sukhasan. We are going to do the sitting mountain pose. Bring your palms together in a namaste pose, near your heart center, spine straight, shoulders relaxed. And slowly look all the way towards your right or left. Take normal breath in. Breathe out. Come to the center. And slowly look to the other side. Take a breath in. Breathe out. And bring it to the center. And now keeping your palms together, stretch your hands up very slowly. Stretch, little more, feel the stretch, go, go, go. Spine should be feeling that stretch, very nice, spinal stretch. Great, now slowly bend on the right side. Come to the center and bend to the left. Bring it to the center, stretch a little more, stretch. And slowly and easily bring both hands down. <clears throat> All the way down and put it on your knee. Come into tabletop position to do the cat and cow stretch. Little distance between your arm, little gap between your knees. Let's squeeze your back in. 
and look up. Great. Now round up your back and chin to the chest. Or as close to the chest as possible. And squeeze your palms on the back so you get a nice round up of the your back. And let's repeat. So squeeze your back and look up. Few repetitions. And round your back and take your chin close to your chest. And feel the stretch in your back when you squeeze it in also and when you round it up. Do it with your own pace, rounding back and squeezing it in. Cat and cow stretch. One more repetition. This is also very good for your thyroid, your to keep it under control. Functioning normally. Okay. Now keep your back flat, as flat as possible. It might look like down, but it is like flat back. Lift one leg, stretch it all the way back. And for three-legged cat position, stretch the other hand. Stay there. Try to look in the front. If you look in the back or look down, sometimes you might lose the balance. So keep it like this. Slowly bring your hand on your mat and your knee. Let's lift the other leg, stretch. And a opposite hand. So my right leg is stretched, so my left hand. Stay there, nice balance. Slowly bring that hand and knee back on the mat. Now let's lift one leg again, just the leg, stretch it, keep it all the way back. Keep your leg straight. And if you have any, if you think it's too much for your palms, you can even put your elbows on the mat. Or you can keep just palms. And now you are going to make a nice big circle with your leg. Keep it straight. Do not try to bend it. Just keep it straight. So you should feel that exercise for your buttocks and your lower back. So make a nice circle with your leg. Try to keep that leg as straight as possible. If it bends a little bit, it's okay. No, no need to worry. And now go in the other direction. You feel it in your buttocks, even in your thighs. And slowly complete. Bring that knee on the mat. Now let's lift the other leg. Stretch it all the way back. And make a nice circle with that leg. <clears throat> Try to make the big circle as big as you can. Try not to touch the floor. Just go close to the floor, but not touch it. And go in the other direction. <clears throat> and one more repetition. Slowly complete. And bring that knee back on the mat. And slowly start going back and go into the child's pose. Again, if you want, you can take a blanket between your thighs and your leg and slowly go down. And come up. <coughs> and we are going to do the camel pose for that. Slowly come onto your knees. And if you have any issues with the knee or you think it's too hard for you, just take a blanket 
underneath your knee. So they have extra padding. Let's do the half camel pose. So both feet are on the tippy toes. It's easier. Now hold your right hand either on your right heel or close to your right heel. Let's lift the left hand up. Either stay here or you can go a little bit bend back. And just take a normal breath. Breathe in and breathe out. Slowly come back up. Let's put left hand on your left heel or close to your left heel. Put your right hand up and bend back. This is also another good position for your thyroid gland to function really well. Slowly come up. So for full camel pose, either you can put both hands on your heels and go back. This is one way. Or little variation is put both hands on your lower back. Press them tight and bend back. Both way you get the same benefit. If you want to go further deeper, you can take put hands on your heels. Stay there. And slowly come up. And bring both hands down. We'll do the half moon position. So you can bring one foot forward. Now my left, <coughs> I'm, my left knee is still on the mat. Right foot is in the front of me. I'm going to stretch my hands on the side. It looks like this. Slowly look towards left or right. Then look to the other side. Keep your hands on the side. Bring both, go back to the center. Bring both palms together. Stretch your hands up and try to bend back. Slowly come up. Bring both hands down. Now, Put one elbow on the front thigh and look to the side. Both palms are still together. Slowly come back up. Now put the other elbow on the front thigh and look to the other side. If you need to, you can bring your foot a little bit close to your body. Try to breathe in and out. And slowly come back. Let's bring both hands down. This knee goes back. Now the other foot, bring it to the front. Same, both hands on the side. So you are opening up your chest. Slowly look towards one side. Then come to the center. <coughs> And look to the other side. Bring it to the center. Both palms together. Set your hands up and bend back. Slowly come up. Bring both hands down. You can put one elbow on the front thigh and look on one side. <clears throat> Come to the center. Put the other elbow and look to the other side. <clears throat> Slowly. Come to the center, bring both hands down. 
both knees and let's go into downward facing dog. Walk the dog, lift one foot up, take it to the front, and then a slunge. Bring back foot forward, and then stay in forward bend, and slowly come up. Great. Wow. Nice 45 minute workout. We just will do a few standing positions. Sit up, stand up nice and tall. Close your eyes. <clears throat> and let's take deep breath in. And when you take a deep breath in, start stretching your hands to the side. Try to keep your eyes closed if possible. We are not going on tippy toes. Stretch it to the side and then stretch your hands up. Keep your feet grounded on the mat and stretch a little more. Keep your eyes closed. Both hands are parallel to each other, not touching each other. And stay like this, stay, stretch. Feel the stretch in your spine, in your shoulder blades. Keep it. And now we are going to bend on right or left. If possible, keep your eyes closed. If not, you can open your eyes. It's however you wish to do so. Just bend on one side. Both hands are not touching each other here. Not like this, just away from each other, kind of parallel to each other. Now, slowly come back to the center, stretch your hands a little more. And now bend to the other side. <clears throat> Stay there, slowly bring it to the center. Now bring your hands down, stretch it to the front. Again, both arms are parallel to each other. Feet are grounded. And let's stretch both hands on one side. Again, they're not touching each other, but they are. Stretch to the right and look also to the right. Take a normal breath here, breathe in, breathe out. Then bring your hands to the center and let's stretch both hands to the other side. And take normal breath in, breathe out. And slowly bring it to the center. and bring both hands down, great. Let's, for the triangle pose, feet apart, as apart as possible. Stretch both hands on the side. <coughs> Slowly bend on one side and let's stretch the other hand. You can either do it this way or you can go further away. Keep your feet further apart and go further down, or you can even bend your knee and go down. A lot of variations. Come back to the center, and let's bend to the other side. <clears throat> Feel the stretch, the upper arm, like try to stretch it a little more if possible. Come back to the center, and let's repeat it a few times bit little bit faster speed so go to the right come to the center go to the left and come to the center just few repetitions with your own pace <coughs> keep on repeating a few times let me grab some water <clears throat> and I'm when I'm bending to the right, I'm really feeling it stretch all the way to the left side. One more repetition. 
and slowly come back to the center. Keep your arms stretched apart. Now, inverted triangle. So with right hand, I'm going to touch the left leg either to my knee or I can go further down and look at the hand which is up in the air. Stay there, take normal breath in, breathe out, come up, and let's touch your right leg with the left hand. <clears throat> breathe in and out, slowly bring it to the center, and let's repeat a few times with your own pace. Right hand, touch your left leg. Left hand, touch your right leg. Three to four repetitions. One more repetition on each side. And bring it back to the center and slowly bring both hands down and both feet together. <clears throat> Let's bring both hands near your heart center. Let's stretch your hands up. Then bring them to the side. And when they come down, slowly bend your knees as much as possible and stretch it up. And if you think your knees are too weak to bend, just keep them straight. Again, go with what your body asks for. If it's too much for you, please avoid that action. Try to keep your upper body straight. We are not bending upper body here. Just exercise for your arms, back, legs, and if possible, knees. Two more repetitions. <clears throat> and slowly bring your hands down. Let's put both hands on your hips. Little distance between your feet. You can see me better if I, yeah, okay. Now we are going to move your hips side to side. Just the hip. Feet are grounded. Slowly complete. Now move your hip forward and back. and bring it to the center and let's rotate your hip around in a circle. Do it slowly. See, every stretch really feels good. One more repetition in the same direction. And slowly go in the other direction. <clears throat> slowly and easily complete the round and come and sit on your mat. And slowly and easily lie down on your back. We'll do a few lying down poses.
slowly fold one leg, press that on your stomach, hold it with your hands, and slowly lift your head and bring it close to the knee. Slowly bring your head back on the mat. Stretch this leg. Now fold the other leg. Press it onto your stomach. Hold it tight with your hands. And bring your head close to your knee. Slowly bring your head back on the mat. Stretch that leg. Now fold both legs, press them on your stomach. Hold it tight, wind free position and rock side to side. This is a nice massage to your back. <clears throat> Slowly bring it to the center and let's lift your head and bring it close to your knee. Press your thighs on your stomach. Slowly bring your head down. And keep your knees bent. Bottom of your feet touching the ground. Now slowly <clears throat> put both hands behind your head and hold your head with both palms. And now we are going to stretch each leg. Both feet are still on the mat. Now stretch right leg and bring your right elbow close to the left knee. Bring both feet down. Now left leg is stretched and bring left elbow to the right knee. Do it slowly. Right elbow to the left knee. Left elbow to the right knee. Few repetitions. Oof. If you don't need to take the stop, like feet on the ground, you can just keep both feet off the mat and just continuously do this. But sometimes it might be too hard for your back. That's why I said bring it down and then bring it close. Okay. Slowly, one more repetition. Bring your feet on the mat. We'll do the bridge pose. Both hands on the side, palms facing down. Press your palm. Lift your lower back and your buttocks. If you need to, you can support it with your palms. Or you can keep them on the mat. A very good pose for your lower back. Slowly bring your lower back down. Stretch both legs. Both hands on the side and we'll do a few minutes of relaxation. So just stay on your back. Just relax. Slow and easy breath coming in and going out. Relax your right leg. Relax your left leg. <clears throat> Relax your right hand. Relax your left hand. Relax your stomach. And relax your lower back. Relax your upper back. Relax your face. Relax all the inner and outer parts of your body. Relax your mind. Just relax. With relaxed mind, keep on taking normal breath in and out. 
every single part of your body is feeling very happy, peaceful and relaxed. <coughs> Just relax your mind and just imagine you are walking on a beautiful beach in the moonlight <coughs> with the full moon in the sky. You see a lot of the sky is really bright with that moonlight and you are walking peacefully and happily along the seashore. Breathe in that fresh air, that calmness coming from the moon. Little breeze, Nice temperature. Look at the moon light flashing over the sea as if the waves of the ocean are also enjoying every moment in that moonlight. So the whole nature is giving you that happiness and peace with every wave coming on the ocean. That nice touch of sand, touch of water, fresh air, that moonlight, palm trees, everything around you is making every moment happy and peaceful. Just walk with that happiness in the moonlight. Look at the mountains far away. Look at the ocean. Look at the moon, the light on the ocean and the waves. Just enjoy everything around that seashore and try to collect every moment of that happiness, joy and peace. Stay there. Listen to the sound of nature. Nature's music is singing a song of happiness, joy, and peace. Shanti means peace. 
peace from this universe. Peace, happiness, and joy. You are joy. You are peace. You are happiness. Slowly move your arms and your legs. And turn on one side. Keep your eyes closed, please. And slowly and easily come back to the sitting position. Just give a gentle rub on top of your head. Just massage your head. <clears throat> massage your forehead. Massage your face. And slowly bring your hands down. Let's take two deep breaths in through the nose, out through your mouth. Breathe in. Ah. Breathe in. Ah. Slowly rub your palms on each other. Put your palms on your eyes. Feel the warmth and peace and joy. Slowly open your hands down and open your eyes. Namaste. Thank you so much for joining me today. Have a wonderful evening and wonderful week ahead. And keep smiling and be happy.